Hello friends, I am very grateful for the support. This will motivate me to create more educational contents. On our first video on basic security, we discuss about on how to do your proper computer security. On our part two, we will discuss about how to protect your own computer from malware attacks. Here is a short history of a malware. Malware program is an application whose developer or sender has malicious intent. While most programs and files you install or download are completely harmless. Some are designed to further hidden agendas such as destroying your files, stealing your information, or creating a payment. Computer hackers had been using a variety of methods to deliver malware onto victims' computers. The first computer virus called the Oki Cloner. It was discovered on a Mac in 1982. In 1986, the first PC-based malware known as Brain was released. On 1980, the most malicious programs were simple boot sector and file infectors spread via floppy disk. As computer network adoption, an expansion continued through the first half of the 1990. Malware distribution became easier because of the lack of security on that time. As technologies grows, certain types of malware has been crashing computers. Malwares are able to spread via mail attachment that exploited computer products. Malwares gained a distribution boost by the increased adoption of the mail. By the mid-1990, businesses became increasingly affected due in large part of office computer application product infection. Malwares expand its propagation and become network-driven. Brain was the first stealth virus, one that included means to hide. Its existence was released in its first form in 19 January 1986. Jerusalem was a DOS virus discovered in 1987. The Mars worm, released in 1988, was the first known to be distributed via the Internet. Michelangelo, discovered in 1991, was designed to infect us based systems. Today, each was a Microsoft Windows 9X virus that was released in 1998. Melissa was a macro virus, discovered in 1999. Basic things we need to understand first, computers cannot be infected without mode of transmission, unless it was backdoored from where it was created. What is this mode of transmission? A good hacker cannot penetrate easily on its target without the mode of transmission. A very easy analogy for this is can a good hacker still can penetrate remote backdoor on a very old smartphone? The answer is simple now. Hacker cannot do this, it's because of the limitations of what I just said, the mode of transmission. Remote backdoor needs to be installed on the victim device. Old phones was not designed for users to install something on it. Old phones can only do call and text message. You can modify on setting some options like date and time themes and other basic options. This old phones cannot handle Wi-Fi connections. The only mode of communication for this is to connect on the telecommunication tower so it can send and receive call and text. It's the same way on what I just said earlier about the mode of transmission. If your computer has been connected on internet or local connection, or simply an external device was connected to your computer, maybe flash drive or other external devices, or maybe some other person uses your computer, this are all possibility for mode of transmission. This mode of transmission can be the reason on how attackers may access our devices without the user aware of it, or maybe an attacker's use of mail as the mode of transmission. The time you spend more on the internet, clicking links and pop-ups on your screen is another way for mode of transmission. The problem here is we are in the era of fast-growing technology, so we need to embrace the consequence. I cannot imagine life nowadays without technology. So this is the reality. We are surrounded for so many technology that helps us on our daily life and some for us to enjoy. The big question is how this technology works. We never know unless we are the creator of this technology products that we are using. I created a very simple checker tool. This will help us find malicious application running on our system. Here we open our checker tool while our antivirus is activated. And it is clean with no issues. On the left side, update connections button. This will show all the connection your computer is connecting. On the right side, update process button. This will show all the running process your computer. CPU and RAM utilization is very important. You should always take note on this. By the person it gives low or high. In this we have already basic information on what is going on. We don't have established connections for now so we open Google Chrome to check if it appears. Click Update Connections, then New Connections will appear.
at the upper right, you can see kill process. You can use this if you think a specific process is malicious. As an example, we will try the kill process under Google Update. And next, we stop the process of Chrome. On this option, you can use malicious file checker, then upload a file that you want to be checked. Also we have other option TCP and UDP port checker if you don't know what service is running on a port. If you want to learn more, just click the green option to open our channel. Process count is also very useful. This will give us an idea if we have new running process. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe on this channel. Your support will give me the motivation to create more educational videos. As always, thank you for watching Dream Media.